Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this lesson, we will talk about biofilters. These biofilters are basically filters, type of filters uh, which contain bacteria. So that's why these are called biofilters. And these are mostly used to decontaminate the polluted air uh, of uh, certain toxic gases and to reduce the order of such polluted air. So uh, as we discussed in our last lesson, there are uh, at least three types of uh, uh, strategies, three type of uh, technologies which are used to treat uh, toxic uh, air, uh, toxic gases present in the air. So biofilters, these were actually the perhaps the first methods to be developed. These consist of a large vessel, a large container, mostly made of concrete or steel or any such thing, uh, which holds a filter medium of organic materials such as peat, heather, bark chips and and the like of such substances. Uh, basically, both but a container hota hai, those uh, that could be made of concrete, ya plastic, hard plastic, ya steel, basically. Or uske under both sara organic substance dala jata hai, jisse ke peat ho gaya, ya bark chips ho gaye, is tarah ki chizes mein dali jati hain. Those basically not only work as a kind of a filter, uh, but they also provide surface area for the growth of microorganisms and bacteria, which will be utilized in this uh, biofilter to detoxify the toxic compounds present in the polluted air. The gas to be treated is forced or drawn through the filter. So, one side of the gas, uh, yeah, polluted air, which is input, is passed this filter, and pass the bacteria that are on the filters, ke upar lage hai, organic type of filters, the bacteria will gas ko detoxify karenge when it comes into the contact with the bacteria. However, the thing to be remembered is that in this biofilter, we need lots of water. Water क्यों चाहिए हमें हम पहले भी पिछले लेसन्स में बात कर चुके हैं कि the compounds, the toxic compounds present in the polluted air, those should be water soluble uh, so that they can come in contact easily with the bacteria present in that water. Thus, uh, the bacteria can detoxify them. This is a basic sketch of typical biofilter. You can see here that it is basically a large vessel that contains certain organic filters, organic materials such as peat, and on these materials. Bacteria are basically uh, absorbed, maybe in the type of biofilms or as planktonic cells as well. And uh, the water contents are there as well. And uh, a gas is passed in this biofilter and it travels upward. And as it travels upward, it comes in contact uh, with the bacteria present in this vessel. And the bacteria detoxify the gas. And then pure gas or purer gas is released out of the biofilter. Now you can see here the medium offers good water holding capacity. Uh, is vessel mein, biofilter ki vessel mein jo hum uh, cheeze use kar rahe hain, jo organic substances use kar rahe hain, unki water holding capacity bohot zyada hoti hai. So you can see here, ke moisture content bohot zyada hoga, aur kafi deh ter wahan pe rahega. So one of the benefits of using organic substances in this biofilters, in these biofilters. And soluble chemicals within the waste gas dissolve into the film of moisture around the matrix. जितने भी हमने ऑर्गेनिक सब्सटेंसेस यूज किए हैं ऑब्वियसली उनके इधर वाटर होगा तो जो कंपाउंड्स एंड टॉक्सिक कंपाउंड्स जो हैं वो इस मैट्रिक्स टाइप में एक तरह की मैट्रिक्स बनी हुई है इसमें वो अब्सॉर्ब हो जाएंगे और मिक्स हो जाएंगे और बैक्टीरिया भी वहां मौजूद है तो बैक्टीरिया अब उन टॉक्सिक सब्सटेंसेस को बड़ी इजीली डिग्रेड कर सकता है क्योंकि वो इन कांटेक्ट आ गया है विद दिस टॉक्सिक सब्सटेंसेस एंड टॉक्सिक कंपाउंड्स बैक्टीरिया एंड अदर माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स प्रेजेंट डिग्रेड Components of the resultant solution, thereby bringing about the desired effect. So, इस तरह से हम कोशिश करते हैं कि जो air में polluted air में जो dissolved uh, toxic substances हैं, उनको इस biofilter में लाया जाए और वो dissolve हों water में और watery matrix में और bacteria already वहाँ present है, वो इससे contact में आ जाएगा और इस तरह से वो detoxify होंगे और जो air release होगी, वो काफी अतक pure होगी. The medium itself provides physical support for the microbial growth. With large surface to area uh, ratio. We have seen that 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 we have that will be much large because uh, these organic substances these offer uh, large surface area to volume ratio. Both are bacteria have grow that Second, uh, in organic substance ki, uh, substances, ki water holding capacity is very high. So, in this is biofilters, mein, in biofilters mein water content bhi rahega, aur bhi rahega, aur bhi rahega, which are all required uh, to make sure that the toxic 
substances present in the polluted air get dissolved in the water solution and therefore get detoxified by the bacteria present in that solution. High in internal void spaces and rich in nutrients to stimulate and sustain bacterial activity. Obviously, these organic substances also contain nutrients as well. And internal void spaces are there too. Jo nutrients hain, obviously those could help bacteria to grow. And there are certain void spaces inside these uh, new, uh, organic materials as well. These void spaces hain, these serve as uh, sites for the dissolved oxygen as well. Uh, Irration bhi wahan pe achhi hasi hoti rati hai. Aur water content jo hai, that is, uh, 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 movement bhi easy rati hai. So you can see here there are lots of uh, benefits of using these organic materials in biofilters. However, uh, these biofilters need to be watered uh, almost uh, regularly so that water content could be maintained. As we discussed before as well, basic requirement kya hai is ki ke water us mein hona chahiye toh hi gases joh hai us mein dissolve hongi water mein aur bacteria unko detoxify kar sakenge. Again remember, only those gases, only those gases compounds which are soluble in water could be treated in this way. However, water logging is to be avoided as this leads to compaction. Water maintain rakhna is biofilters mein. However, bohut zyada water introduce nahi karna. Usse kya hoga? Compaction ho jayegi, clogging ho jayegi. Or sara system chok kar jayega. So, we have to make sure that we maintain a certain volume of water in these biofilters. Only then these biofilters can work with much high efficiency. You can see here, properly maintained biofilters can reduce order released by 95% or more, 95% tak ye air ko pure kar sakte hain, certain uh, toxic compounds, gaseous compounds which are soluble in water, those could be easily detoxified by using these biofilters. I will see you in next lessons.